hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start working on our opponent car ai uk but before creating a opponent ai system we need to create a waypoint system for our opponent cars okay and let me tell you how our uh, waypoint system will work is for example this uh, circle is our first waypoint okay then from the first waypoint the next waypoint will be this one okay this second waypoint and by the way let me tell you that this line will be the width okay so from the first waypoint the car will move to the second one and from the second one the car will move to the third one but also on the second waypoint we will have information to the next waypoint and also to the previous waypoint okay so the reason we will be keeping this information to the next waypoint and to the previous waypoint is because if you then want to add an option to play this same track but in the reverse mode okay then you can just assign the previous waypoint to the car and the car will move in the previous waypoint but if you want to add the next waypoint and want the car to move in the uh, other direction then we will just simply assign the next waypoint okay so in this way our waypoint system will work now let's click on the game folder then the scripts folder and in here let's go ahead and create a new folder by the name of opponent car ai okay and in here what we are gonna do is we're gonna create a new c sharp script by the name of waypoint let's now let's open this up okay and as i told you on each of the waypoint we're going to store the information to the next waypoint and the previous waypoint okay so first of all let me remove that and at the top let's add a header and this header is going to be waypoint status or waypoint info if you want okay so the first one will be a public of type waypoint let's name this as previous waypoint okay then we're gonna just copy this paste it and right here change this to next waypoint okay after this as i told you we will be adding a width uh, to our waypoint as well so right here we're going to create this range so the range will be from 0 to 5 and let's create a float right here by the name of waypoint width this is going to be equals to let's just say 5 by default okay then let's create a method to get a random position within the waypoint width okay so we're gonna say public vector 3 get uh, position okay now in here first of all we will calculate the uh, minimum bound of the waypoint width so in order to do that we're gonna create a vector 3 let's name this as uh, minimum bound then we're gonna say transform dot position plus transform dot right and we're gonna multiply that by the waypoint width and then divide that by two okay after this when we calculate the minimum bound of the waypoint width now we're gonna calculate the maximum bound of the waypoint width okay so in order to do that let me just simply copy this paste it right here and just simply change this to max bound and right here instead of the plus we are gonna use minus because we can't use transform dot left okay we will use tra just the minus sign and it will get the left side of the waypoint width now after this we're gonna return a random position within the calculated bounds using linear interpolation okay so we're gonna say return vector 3 dot curve let's pass the minimum bound then the 
maximum bound and then we're gonna say random dot range and that is gonna be from 0 to 1 that is it for our waypoint script just save the script get back right here and for now we don't have to apply this waypoint script to anything okay because we're gonna now create a system in which whenever uh, we create a waypoint the script will be attached automatically okay so let me show you how we will do that in the assets uh, folder let's create a new folder by the name of editor okay by the same name editor okay and inside this editor we're going to create a new c-sharp script by the name of waypoint manager window okay now we will open this up and in here we're going to remove that and at the top we're going to say using unity editor okay because we will be now dealing with the unity editor so also you can remove this mono behavior to editor window okay you can actually type editor window like this all right now let's create our own menu so right here just type uh, menu item okay we want to create a uh, menu by the name of waypoint and then inside the waypoint we're going to create a sub menu and that is going to be by the name of waypoints editor tools okay after this we're going to create a window as well and then inside that window we're going to have the button for creating a waypoint okay so in order to do that you just simply say public static void show window and let's type get window waypoint manager window and let's name this window as waypoints editor tools okay you can name these whatever you want okay because now in a moment you will uh, get to know what this will do okay so now if you save the script okay and get back right here as you can see there is nothing to see right here but if you notice right here we now have a menu and if you click on it in here we now have this sub menu okay this is the names which we type right here okay the main menu is waypoint the sub menu is this and then when we click on it it's gonna open up this window Okay, so if you click on it, as you can see, it opens this Waypoints Editor Tools window. Just drag and drop it right here with the inspector, okay, and then click on the inspector back again. Now, uh, in this Waypoint Editor Tools window, we're going to now add some options, okay. But let's just add that options in the next video.